Kenny goes for slightly bigger reads than you would expect on average. That's one way to put it. Yeah. Uh, moronic reads that sometimes are godlike. That's which, which, sometimes, which sometimes are godlike. Yeah. So and it's like, it's it's a weird dichotomy where sometimes you watch Tenny and you're like, Tenny, why are you playing like this? And then sometimes you're like, how do they beat you? you yeah. And, and and the funny thing is, it kind of pairs, well, pairs poorly sometimes with Ray's style of counter hitting. Because you go for this kind of crazy read. Ray and then, loves reversing yeah. people. He loves it. He loves landing on you with Nairus, forward airing at a disadvantage. Like that yeah, shit. Yeah. Like. So, and the, all of a sudden, you're like, man, what a reversal. So I was I was talking to Ray actually before this because he was asking me some, some Ivy Sword tips, mm. which is funny because I lose to Tenny every time. But I, I, I we, we tried to work up a new game plan for him. We'll see if it works here. That's it's a, working so far. Tenny. Nairus loved the, the Razor Leaves. It's OP. So, his issue is mainly just. Crap there. What is he? Oh, we're done. Nairus is so OP, bro. You know what I hate about Nairus? Like, it's, it's the only move that the worse you get at Smash, the more you use it. Like, you see, like, casual players spam it, and they're like, what do I do? And then once you get, like, mid-level, people don't use it. And then once you get good again, they're like, I'm going to use it again. And it's so, it's the same thing with, uh, fuck, what's the other move that does that? There's another, like, really good example for that move, but I hate that shit. It's so annoying. Oh, that that was good timing. He just missed faces. it. He was a little too far back. Another big swing from Ray. I mean, I don't... I don't you really see, Ray's League does have a lot of end lag, and I bet I bet it's a true punish if you're close enough. But he was slightly too far, I think. It was very close to hitting. Oh, wow. Tomahawk F smash on the platform. That shit's OP. That shit's actually OP. Bro, if a cause is running at you and you just, like, land F smash, he, he'll keep running at you because he's trying to close distance, and then you just will kill him. <laughs> okay, Ray. I love oh, this. Oh, his health is so bad. I love seeing slight hits, like, um... Things that like just are just a single hit don't lead to anything, and they they, they try to play off of it. Dude, oh, I fucking hate Ivysaur. So apparently, Ivysaur's Rise Leaf, by the way, just goes through night. Yeah, yeah. Why? It has piercing properties. That's dumb. Nah, bro, it's real. He might be dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't di in. Yeah. Not di in. Yeah, get out of there. That's such a fucked up thing. Because if you di out and he reads it, you also die. True, but it's fine. Why'd you get grabbed? <laughs> oh, that. Ray oh. was Ray was feeling something. That would have been if you got like a lightning kick after that. That would have been nasty. Right now, Kenny not really getting enough of his stuff to go well, and that SD was not. Oh yeah, that doesn't yeah. feel very it's good. Rough. Now that this was bad because now you're just going against Zelda. Oh, Ray tries looking to for anything. Oh my God, Ray! Not Whoa, that was so weird. So he actually like go. He actually crossed up his shield there. If you saw that. Crazy. That feels so good for Ray. Like any any damage here feels so good because you get him on ledge. Yeah. Now he's this is probably this is, game. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if Tenny doesn't. Okay. That was a little bit late on the night. That was very late on that. Yeah. yeah. That should have been a probably the game. But Tenny has been like stalling. But good patience. For Ray. Ooh. That DI was sussy. Might have been a directional air dodge to get some distance, but I don't think Tenny's playing very well. I, I think he he's making a lot of mistakes he doesn't usually make. Not only just the SDs, but like. I, I, I kind of like what we were saying earlier. The way that Tenny plays is that sometimes when he does those S smashes, those up smashes, the Charizard, yeah. when they hit, you're like, damn, this is so good. But when they miss, you're like, eh, what are you doing, bro? Like, blood, blood stop mashing, you know? Weirdly enough, I haven't seen, I mean, b besides the beginning where he was just like kind of going crazy with reversals, Ray was actually very non swingy. He was, yeah. He was yeah. using a lot of punishing, not a lot of swinging, yeah. first, which I think is good. And on top of that, I think uh, one thing that Ray was doing is he wasn't getting grabbed very much. I was talking to him He says the number one issue with ours, I fuck, Ivysaur is that Ivysaur will grab you and get down throw, up air, up air. And it's just true. And it does 50% to 60%, and it gets you up there, and then it's a 50 50 whether you air dodge or not, and then you die. When I get grabbed by Ivysaur, I'm actually dead half the time as Kazuya. It's the most demented, like. It's, ba it's based, you know? It's very, uh, it's a very wholesome situation. They earned that grab, you know? Did it's they? Like, it's so hard. Did they? Did they earn that grab? <laughs> did they really? <laughs> it's pretty slow on the shield. I don't care if it's slow, bro. Ooh, look Ray at that. Doing? Look at that pivot. <laughs> Uh-oh, wait, hold on. I told, I told Ray to do this. I told Ray. I said, Ray, when you're getting juggled, just go to the fucking ledge, dude. Just go to ledge, bro. You actually... People try to land so often against people like Palu, against people like Ivysaur, against Cloud. You can just... Air dodge away, go to ledge. This is true. It really is that simple. Same thing with like Game & Watch. A lot, a yeah, lot Game of Watch, too, bro. Against Game Watch, and I'm playing Kazi, you know what I do? I up beat, jump, meow, go to ledge. But Game Watch is fucked up because Game Watch also kills you on ledge. That's true. So it's like, go to ledge, bro. <laughs> I'll see but, you but there. Like, <laughs> Ivysaur isn't, Ivysaur's good on ledge, but he's not like as scary as when he's below you, you know? Yep. Tanya's looking for a lot of these pivot grabs. But, oh, oh that, wait. That should have been a board air. 
Wow. That reversal is so good, dude. I mean, that was a bad reversal, but it worked, so it's good. I mean, Tanji Ten just got to, has to just wait. to wait a little bit, because these big up Bs are coming out, and like you can punish these if you just are in the right position. I swear you can get a punish on like a point blank raise. Oh my gosh. That was a crazy grab. I love these pivot grabs. Wait, are you dead? No. Dude, Zelda's broken. You can't even two frame it. That's why he's not even trying. Like, that was like incredible up there. Because that, that covered a lot of options. That covered jump. That covered roll. <laughs> I got one too. What was that? Was that up there? I didn't <laughs> yeah. even grab it. <laughs> I got one too, man. It's Zelda up there is one of the most like, oh my god. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's, it's, it's pretty yucky, but. It's more than pretty yucky. It's disgusting. It was, it was worth online. I remember when I first played Ray in the Wi-Fi bracket. Wi -Fi oh, it's, so, it's fucked up. I so that's like, fucked up because that actually pokes shields there to your shield. That's kind of a checkmate scenario. Uh-oh. The thing okay. is, you, shielding above a Zelda is very scary. Because they have Nair, they have Nairus, and they have up air. And they have just raw landing kick. So it's like, there's a lot of options you have to, to, to account for. And you can't really jump out of shield. That might be the... Oh. I knew, I know Ray was looking for that up air, dude. Oh. Some iframe there might have helped a little bit. He's having, Ray is looking for, uh, you know, he's looking for reversals too much in disadvantage, and so he's not swinging. And the reason he's not swinging is because he's trying to find an opportunity to swing, and so he's not doing a defensive option. A lot of players get caught in that scenario where they, they keep mashing swing. Wow, that works. I hit Zelda. They keep, like, not doing anything because they're trying to find a reversal, and it just Oh! Work. That almost killed. Yep. That's the thing. If he's not on Ivysaur, he actually just dies on ledge. Like, there's no option for Charizard there. Charizard is dead. Because you get neutral, get him F smashed, it covers every other option. That should be a, yeah, landing kick rock. 25? 25%, bro. 25%, and now you're at. Okay, Ray, pipe <laughs> down. Pipe down, Ray. Come on. Calm down. This is best of five, though. This is best of five. Where, where is Bro going? Wait, that's so bad, because now he loses invincibility. He could have just walked up and, like, guaranteed. Oh, what do you get here? That? Oh, I feel like you should have done downer. I feel like if you have the time, or just grab. Grab is probably, also good. Probably down there. But, hey. That should have been... I think that was a true frame trap. Uh, I love... Okay, his decision to not go up there because he wasn't sure of his suit was actually so smart. That was I wonder, so smart I wonder how well you can react to it, like, hitting a shield. Right, that kills it. Um, you, you can't really react. You can't really react. I don't think. But but the thing is, Ray Ray knows that if he's not a hundred percent sure that it's gonna hit, he does do it away because yeah, it's, it's, it's just like a it's like just pop him up and then like reset. Like worst like. case scenario is that you know you, you pop him up. Oh, you don't get a kill instead, but you don't die. Yeah, they still take damage. But Ray's key thing is here. He has to switch him off of Ivysaur somehow, and once he gets him off of Ivysaur, then if he gets him disadvantage, he actually kills him every time. Like Ivy gets away with a lot because he has Razor Leaf. But if Ivy doesn't have access to Razor Leaf, or if PT doesn't have access to Razor Leaf, you'll see it. Do you know how you know how many times he's hit him as Squirtle? This set? Not enough time. Zero. Zero. He actually hasn't because played Squirtle at all. You can't. You can't go Squirtle in this matchup. He's too slow. You need Ivy's or you need those hitboxes and you need that. I've been telling Ray, Ray, if he's doing Razor Leaf and you're doing Knight, just release Knight early. And you trade. He takes 17, you take two. Hmm. Looks like the um, the strategy session is paying off so far. It, I mean, he's doing what I'm telling him. And he's also just playing well. And I think Tenny is making a couple of blunders. So, so Tenny, what I don't like about Tenny's play right now is he's not looking for any kind of less traps. He's actually trying to, like, beat he's Zelda. Trying to, he's trying to play, like, okay, he's, that's trying to hit, he's trying to hit Zelda while she's recovering. And it's like, you don't have to. She has a hard Zelda time on the so ledge. so bad on ledge. So like, she has get up Nair, get up Nairus, that's it. Literally no other option, which means she has, you know, only the ring. Oh, that hits. That's crazy. The, the, the fingers. Yeah, need another manicure. Okay. Uh -oh. The stage looking a little bit too open. Not having the platforms means that Tenny can kind of just jump all over the place. He, he's not constrained by the plat. You see what Ray gets a lot is that he puts him on top of a plat, and then that causes Tenny to have to shield on a plat and then just die eventually. Okay, now you're on ledge. How does Ray take advantage of this? That should be a kill. Yeah. Cannot swing like that. Cannot. You need to take advantage of that because if Ray doesn't have time to set up a, a, a lightning, uh, a knight, and you're playing Charizard, just get up. Yeah. Neutral get up shield. You're fine. You know. It, it's like it's not. I mean, obviously, if they hard read it, you still die. Yeah, but, but it's like you need. To, you cannot do those like offensive options. Just take the fact that you live off ledge and get back. Oh, well, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah. So no. He he, he not it too early. He didn't have access to it. Yeah. Down through an air. Now he's off. He's off stage again, kind of. All right, Tenny, wisening up to the fact that Ray's going to release the Knight to combat the, leash, the Razor Leaf. Yeah, but Ray clearly is releasing Knights a little bit earlier, and it's making a big difference. He's getting those trades early. That, that's the Lightning Kick core grab. Oh, oh I, like that, I like that grab. I like that grab. That, that could have actually been a stop. Loki. Down throw uh, yeah, up Yeah, actually, he did kill him. Yeah. He did kill him last time. Okay, he's leafing. Oh, <laughs> I saw that too. I thought Ray had him. That should be a Lightning Kick, yeah. 
That's a big rate. Now, now because he's he's recovering low, you get a chance to set up Phantom. Okay, he doesn't get it. The, these plots are so good for, for Tenny, though. I mean, he can just retreat to them if he needs to. Jump, double jump up to them. Nice nair nice nice dodge to get, real, that, get past that Knight. But, I mean, all of a sudden, this game went from being very Tenny favored to being extremely even. If not, like, Ray has all the momentum now. Oh! Bruh. Oh, that's a low shield. That's, ah! No, that's a shield. Yeah. <laughs> I was I, like, yeah, yeah. Ivysaur is just fat enough to the point where you can always forward her out of shield with basically everything he does. Don't get up. Don't do forget up shield. I always, Whoa, that hit. Yeah, it works. I always get shocked when I get hit by landing kill. I'm like, really? Yeah, it, sometimes it, Mega Man's like kind of tiny, but he's kind of fat. You know, he's kind of chunky. Not to shame, but no, if we're being objective, Mega Man's a chunky boy. He works for that, bro. He'd be in the gym. Yeah, he has, he has nice, like, like, nice glutes. Oh, oh, oh my god. Ray, <laughs> Ray, Ray leaned in his chair and was like, holy shit, dash that kill that 40. Ray's looking for landing kick so bad. I think I think Ray's making a mistake here. I think you need to just keep playing the slow ledge trap. He's been ledge trapping him. So, like, listen, give, give up. Give up trying to edge guard Zelda. It just doesn't work. It does, dude, she has the best. I, I'm not kidding. I think she's a top 10 recovery in the game. I mean, top I'm not 10 even is fine. Anything, anyone with a teleport usually has like a really solid. No, but like Palu, you can two frame. You can't two frame Zelda. I mean, she can beefy it. She, she can be no, even it, no, even if she doesn't, you just can't two frame it. No, you can two frame it. No, Palu cannot down to Zelda. I've two framed it before. Palu can't. I mean, oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if Ray. Oh, nice, nice. Lightning, lightning kick, kick, huge. Yeah. Ray taking it 3 0, a pretty decisive. I mean, the games were close, but I feel like Ray had control most of the games. Like, he knew what his game plan was. Yeah, Tenny was trying to, we're kind of figuring it out midway through. 